My friend Via and I were invited to play in a drama at New Vrindavan's mantra retreat over the weekend. New Vrindavan is such a beautiful and peaceful place. There is a lot of land with plenty of nature, ponds, swans, peacocks, and temples. Having moved to Florida over the summer, I was quite surprised by the cold of West Virginia, but still very amazed by the beauty of the New Vrindavan community. So I'm away from Krishna House for the weekend, and I was really excited to come. Woody, for some reason, like I've been feeling like I want to go back and I miss being there and being with my friends and stuff. To miss a whole place and a bunch of people and like to really feel like I'm away from home and being like a bit nervous and wanting to go back, that's not something I've experienced often. So I've been spending a lot of time like alone and also a lot of time practicing for the drama, which is why we came here. And I guess I've been processing like feelings that I've been internalizing for a while. And I was walking around and I found this uh, feather, a swan feather. They're not rare, like there's swans here, so like, you know, you can find them. But I came last year and the swans were there and I didn't find any feathers, so I'm really, I don't know, I like it. New Vrindavan's community has a Govinda restaurant where blessed spiritual vegetarian food is served. Frankly, I could not wait to have their burger and fries. I had been thinking about them since my last day. I got so excited when they came that I forgot to film them. The temple hall is one of the most beautiful ones I've seen. They have many deities of Krishna in his many forms. My favorite is their Nishinga Dev deity, the half man, half lion incarnation of the Lord, who is known as the protector and remover of obstacles to spiritual progress. Last time, I was visiting for the first time. All the Krishna houses of America were gathering, and at that time also, I was part of a drama. I was taken away by the temple's beauty and the people's inviting energy. My desire to visit other Krishna houses, like the one I'm living in now, was solidified at that time, and I started making moving plans. It's wonderful to see where this has all led me now. The last week has been quite challenging emotionally for me. I've been struggling with my self-worth and feeling pretty down. My routine got affected and it's been challenging to put myself back together. But slowly, things started coming back into place. I've been practicing expressing myself and my heart to mentors and friends calmly. Expressing myself hasn't been much of a problem throughout my life, but doing it with calmness and softness definitely has been something I struggle with. I do feel like there's been significant improvement with that. Lately, my words have been coming out much softer in periods of frustration or distress. What you're seeing here is a Rata Yatra festival in Gainesville, Florida. There is a parade going on every year during football season and we get to be part of the parade. Jagnat, Baladev and Subhadra are being pulled by the truck and there are people dancing, singing and playing instruments in front of it. Even that one day, my emotions were still jumbled up. But I really enjoyed participating in the parade. Our group was quite big. To run from the deity's chariot to the front of the parade, where people were dancing, would take a good time. At some point, I got my camera down in the truck pulling the chariot, and my friend and I ran all the way to the front of the parade in our dresses to dance with everyone, 
It was so exciting. My friend Nishta had me lead a kirtan with her for some time. And then Pramamrita led a very fired up kirtan towards the end, and people from the crown joined to dance with us. Seeing the receptivity of the crowd to our music, dance and tradition felt so heartwarming. Little girls would wave to us, saying we looked like princesses. Sometimes someone in the crowd would joyfully shout Hare Krishna with a smile. I was surprised by the warmth of the people. It's actually quite a healing environment, as I've been used to rejection and criticism in many spheres of my life for such a long time. To be surrounded by warm, receptive and understanding people feels unusual, but also very nice. I feel safer and like I can grow more easily and more confidently. My week finished on the good note, after a lot of crying, expressing my feelings and concerns to mentors and friends, and asking for guidance, some weight was taking off my chest, and I've been pleasantly surprised by people's reciprocation. It's such a nice feeling to feel heard and cared for. I can't appreciate it enough. Thank you. I love you.